hello welcome again uh, in this segment we'll talk about arachnoid matter now if we talk about arachnoid matter arachnoid matter is this middle layer it is indicated here right in this region uh, the upper part of the arachnoid matter is adherent to dura hair and its inner part is adherent to the pia matter so basically it has got two layers this outer layer we can say that it is adherent to dura matter and its inner layer is adherent to pia matter and arachnoid matter has got these trabeculies trabecules that are created and filled by a cerebrospinal fluid during lifetime and now if we talk about arachnoid uh, matter it encloses the subarachnoid space arachnoid matter provides pathway and support for the incoming uh, arteries and outgoing veins furthermore arachnoid matter has got some sort of specializations which are called as arachnoid granulations which we'll talk about them later on in this session now let's look at these images in this image we can see dura matter here this is a dura matter and here at this image this is our arachnoid matter our arachnoid matter is this filmy layer which is kind of thicker and suspended in uh, in life during lifetime so in these regions you can see this is actually arachnoid matter so uh, if you look at this image in this image you can look that you can see it here that if we pull on the dura matter we can clearly see our uh, arteries and veins our blood vessels being suspended here and clearly visible in arachnoid matter so these are actually blood vessels which are suspended in, in arachnoid matter and are clearly visible when we actually pull on our dura matter so this is the dura matter this is the dura matter and these are actually blood vessels in arachnoid matter uh, furthermore in this image we can see here the arachnoid granulations actually arachnoid granulations are specialized areas or areas of contact between uh, the arachnoid matter and dural venous sinuses this is how actually our cerebro spinal fluid uh, drains from uh, the subarachnoid space into the uh, dural venous sinuses and, in, and into the venous circulation so we already talked about dural venous sinuses when we talked about uh, dura mater so these are arachnoid granulations which are clearly visible here so let's move on now if we talk if you look at this image we can in this image we can see dura mater here and arachnoid matter is clearly visible here in these regions and furthermore this is these are arachnoid granulations and furthermore you can also see the arachnoid granulation here in this image this these are arachnoid granulations and this is subarachnoid space basically the arachnoid granulation uh, are the regions uh, where the arachnoid matter comes in contact with the, uh, dural venous sinuses and this is how our cerebrospinal fluid drains into the our venous circulation now something very important is that that it's very important the important thing is that uh, the balance between the cerebrospinal fluid creation and its, its subsequent drainage is very important because we know that uh, fluids are in, incompressible but our brain is compressible and our brain is 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 contained in a skull which is kind of a finite and uh, finite space so if we have a lot more uh, uh, cerebrospinal fluid it will compress the brain and it will result in a very dangerous situation which is called as hydrocephalus so that's all for today uh, we'll talk about pia matter in next segment thank you very much